This is Pastor Joseph with Life Family, and I want to bring you a little extra because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. So today's devotional is coming to you from Ephesians chapter 4 and 14. It gives us that golden nugget of truth that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. That means this, that when you're a child, you can be gullible. You can believe certain things even though it may not be true. Has anybody ever been told by a parent something that later you found out wasn't true? A tooth fairy, Santa Claus, I hope no kids are watching this. But the reality is, as you grow older, you become more aware of what's true and what's not true, what's fact and what's fiction. The same is true as you become mature in your faith. It doesn't mean we don't have childlike faith in Christ. It simply means that when it comes to the truth of His Word and the errors that are in this world, that we can decipher what's real and what's fake, what is God and what is ungodly. And so the Bible is telling us, let's not be like a child whose emotions, whose belief sways from one minute to the next, like when that's tossing around things, a new idea that blows in, you are gullible, you fall for it, a new fad comes in, it totally changes your life, but then it's gone the next day. The Bible is telling us that let's be strong, let's be stable, let's be constant in our belief in the conviction that what's in the Bible is true. It can be trusted, it can stand the test of time, and no matter what winds of new ideas come in, no matter what winds of different circumstances may blow, the Bible is forever settled. You can depend upon it, you can trust it, you can put your faith in what thus saith the Lord. So today, what is it in your life that has caused some radical winds to come in and to make you question some things? Can we just have a moment of clarity to say, I believe in His Word more than what I feel, more than what I've experienced that circumstances may contradict. I'm standing on the Word of God. Do that today and let the peace of God keep you in the middle of the storm. God bless.